say, can it with the same say? Yeah, I don't care what C C or E say. Or he say or she say, money in a briefcase. Nigga must be feeling cause I'll get in that cheese. Oh, that's a scummy bitch. Oh, I think that bitch is TK. Oh, she gon' learn today. I tell that bitch to do a three-way. If you feelin' lucky, I might go in for the sweep step. I be in this blunt like I smoke on all MPJ. And then like I am Canel, I'm a fucker in my PJs. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Vontae the first. Back again with another video, man. You guys already know we finally back. We back, we back with manga, baby. You know what I'm saying? It's been what, like 10, 11, 12 days since we reacted to any manga on this channel or even did a video for that matter. I was gonna do some other stuff a few days ago and last week, but I ended up not doing it because other stuff came up. But we're here nonetheless. We're back on schedule. Starting out with One Piece. TCB, they dropped One Piece. It's 5.30 in the morning. I woke up randomly just to check my phone, you know, just checking the time and shit like that. And I seen that they did it, you say, I saw it like, you know what? I said, you know what? Let's read this shit. You know what I'm saying? So you can probably see us still a little tired. Got a little eye circle. I'm, I'm still tired. My face puffy. But we here nonetheless, god damn it. Um, and it's cold as hell right now. So fuck it. But we we, we move. We do move. All right? So last chapter, we started out. Um, we seen that uh, Vice Admiral T-Bone apparently got killed. So, you know, how the Cross Guild have their little thing going on where they're putting bounties on Marines' heads and whatnot. Uh, we don't know if it's true or not that he got killed based off of his like nature he could be like faking it i don't know but he apparently got killed um and then but the highlight of the chapter is really for captain buggy this is a buggy chapter we got to see some flashback between him and shanks how shanks was just telling him like yo you know what i'm not even trying to be the pirate king right now i'm just you know i'll be a pirate and i'll make it to you know see the one piece one day or claim the one piece one day or whatever the case may be like, I'll do all that shit later. I'm not really on that right now, which is interesting because I want to know exactly why he didn't really want to get on that until like now because we are starting to see Shanks really want to do things right now instead of when, you know, like a lot earlier. But, um, and Buggy was pissed off about these. I thought you was the one, my nigga, but he, he apparently wasn't the one. He was not him. That's what Buggy realized. He realized Shanks was not him, but he ended up, nonetheless, he ended up, um, you know, kind of just being like, all right, whatever. They went separate ways. And Buggy also, his dream, you know, his passion had kind of reignited too right now just by him thinking about that. And, you know, he's in a great situation, great position for that. He's a Yonko now. So, like, you feel me? So, I, I like that with Buggy. Um, did his little speech, did his thing. And then later on in the chapter, we've seen that Sabo is indeed alive, which makes sense, obviously. Even when you look at Sabo, at the time when Lucia got fucking annihilated, he looks like he was like away from it, like on a boat or something like that, or somewhere else looking up behind him. So we kind of already knew that. I don't know why people really thought that he was dead, dead, but it is what it is. But they got some of the people from Lucia out of there and we're back here. He's about to tell Dragon and Ivankov and the rest of the, well, I guess, yeah, just those two right now about, um, what he saw at the reverie and, and about you know the, the king of the world all that kind of shit so we're gonna see what's going on here so i'm just gonna get straight into it man i know it's been like three minutes of an intro but we back i had to you know do my little thing all right so chapter 1083 of one piece the truth about that day okay so we are going to get it i was I'm, i was glad i mean i'm glad now that we're going to get this because i thought that we we're going to cut to something else because i really want to hear what sabo had to say right now you feel me so let's see so the cover page, <laughs> Doflamingo, cover request by Miracle. Doflamingo, Miracle, Mi or Mi Mikiro, never mind. <laughs> Doflamingo attending to a fallen chick and making a nest with his coat. Wow. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I like that request though, <laughs> that person made. We accomplished everything we set out to do. Kamabaka Queendom, what did Sabo see? All three objectives were taken care of. We officially declare war by destroying the Celestial Dragon symbol. We rescued Kum Kumasan and we freed as many slaves as possible. Finally, we managed to find, find and destroy the Holy Land's food reserves. So what was the fallout? It was nothing to squeeze at, but we got the world's attention and the Navy ended up sending in the big guns. Meanwhile, we, tra uh, we triggered uprisings in 12 nations where we held strong influence, eight of which were successful well you you eight were 
successful, but one of the but one of the advantage the kingdom of Lelucia. The headline wait, what is it? But one of them vanished, yeah. One of them vanished, all right. Head, the headlines, uh, like I said, it's too early still. <laughs> I'm still trying to wake up. But the headlines censored everything, but the seven others have all declared their intent to no longer pay the celestial tri tri tribute or comply with the exploitive exporting of their resources. On top of that, the revolutionary army is attacking government supply carriers all over the world to stop resources from reaching Mary Joie. They say that the Holy Land's high up location um, makes it an impenetrable fortress. So yeah, uh, we we I mean we we kind of know that, right? But we'll see how they how they like living under siege. They'll finally get a taste of what it is to live in poverty and go hungry. Yeah, that's what I call a result. Indeed, we may not be able to cut off all their supplies, but we're squeezing them slowly but surely. They must be struggling by now. Really, I wonder how much are they, you know, how are they struggling that much for real? I mean, obviously, if you're fucking up with the food reserves, you would think so, and resources, you would think so, but maybe I'm underestimating the Revolutionary Army to some degree, but I just don't really think that they, I mean, they, they even acknowledged that, like, you know, they they did something, you know, so I take it. W on them, good shit. As expected, though, they're not a foe who will just take all of this lying down. Yeah, our real battle will start when they mobilize God's Knights. God's Knights. What the hell are they talking about? Is that silhouette? God, quote unquote, God's Knights, or are they just? I guess this is a new. Is this like a new group or something? Hold on, are we getting introduced to some more new shit. Hmm. interesting unless he's just referring to like i don't know like just the top like I, I don't know maybe he i guess this is a new group you realize what would be their number one target right sabo or should i start calling you flame emperor boy <laughs> i'm not too hot on that name <laughs> hot no 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 good joke no pun all right <laughs> It doesn't matter what the truth behind King Cobra's assassination is. The news reports have made you a hero already. In the eyes of the revolutionaries everywhere, authority figures within the world government are hated for being subhuman monsters. Yeah. While there are all certainly many uh, malignant, ma malignant, malig malignant, whatever, <laughs> power-hungry <laughs> uh, despots who deserve their rep who deserve who deserve that reputation there are also a number of intelligent and fair rulers too and alabasta king cobra was in a class of his own everyone considered him to be an outstanding sovereign <clears throat> unfortunately misinformation spreads faster than nuances like that this might be cold to say but while i feel bad for what happened to king cobra i think i can live with the way this all played out if it helps fuel the flames of the rebellion Hey, I mean, honestly, that's, I mean, and I like that because when it comes to like revolution and like being a rebel and whatnot, like certain sacrifices or certain things need to happen. And that, I'm not even calling that like a sacrifice necessarily, but like there are certain things that need to play out the way that they do, you know, and it sucks, but it just kind of has to happen. You feel me? And King Cobra, that whole situation, boom, right? <laughs> My, you really are unshakable. They spit it out already. What really happened? King Cobra assassination. Is there any truth behind this scoop? We all shed tears over this, desperately trying to find an explanation because we all wanted to believe in you. Over a month ago, at the home of the gods in the holy land of Mary Joie, not long after the reverie began, they're attacking the home of the gods. Get out of here and help us. But you lousy bureaucrat. Crats. <laughs> they blew up the storehouse. The intruders are with the Revolutionary Army. We're under attack. It's four captains. This is outrageous. First we attack first they attacked our beloved symbol, and now they the plebs have taken away the exquisite food. Does it does the jealousy of these vermin know no bounds? I don't even want to <laughs> keep these heads, just dispose of them at once. After that, summon all those dreadful bodyguards and have and have been executed those miserable wretches allowed this to happen on their watch you depraved snail i told you to hurry what you, oh yeah and then you got yep on um, niggas backs and shit slaves back what would you do if something 
were to happen to me. I've had enough, I'll walk myself. Consider yourself fired, you useless piece of trash. Shit, that's good. Shit, he could just be fired. Just don't, okay, he hit him, never mind. But still, hey, he good now, fuck it. My gun, who do you think you are? Oh, and then, uh, what's his name, Kerusu, or something like that? The, the crow dude, crowing suit. He do look cool as hell, though. Escape to the east of the city. Where, okay. It's the Revolutionary Army, yep, they came in. What they tried to do, start shooting at them and the shit ain't working. Get the Saint Plum into safety. Let's riddle this scum with bullets. Blast them till there's nothing left. Huh? There really is nothing left. <laughs> Don't tell me he's... Oh, shit. Oh, he was right behind him. Oh, what does it say? Obli suit. Uh, Northern captain of the Revolutionary Army. Yeah, Kedusu ate the suit suit. For the sut sut. For oh, sut. That's sut. Oh, okay. I'm thinking... I don't know what I thought. I, I was thinking, like, because he used crows. Like, I don't know. But that's sut. Huh. Interesting. That's dope. I fuck with that. Yeah, that's raw. Laser shooter. Hurry up and gather the east side of the city. We're going to get you out of here, okay? I thank you so much. Thank you so much. You can thank us when you're free. Oh, and then, yeah. Uh, uh, what's his name? Lindbergh. They're really going all up. Uh, they're really going at it over there. Uh, they're headed this way. Hurry up and release everyone. Leave it to me, Crow. Oh, shit. Yep. And then, uh, what's his name? Rincon. Uh, Fujitora popped up. Oh, boy. I mean, oh, my. This boy is pure, sure likes to play rough. Western captain of the Revolutionary Army, Morley. You're the ones destroying the city. Just cough up where, you, uh, where your leader went off to. You should have sniffed around and stalked people, you dirty little perv. So you got uh, Morley going against uh, Green Bull. I know niggas on Green Bull ahead right now. I know they, they talking mad shit about Green Bull and Fujitora, but especially Green Bull. I know they talking shit about him, boy. You're as bad as him. Watch where you're, swivel Watch where you're swinging. Ryoku, Ryoku. I don't know. I always had a hard time pronouncing Ryoku. 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 Rio, I always just say Rio every time I see that word from any manga. <laughs> you bastard! I'll see it. Uh, I'll see to it that you hang it. That you hang if any of us get hurt. Damn, it's impossible to fight here. Get out of the way already. Okay, so Green Bull, he just can't go all out because they in the way. I'm just trying to give him the benefit of the doubt because honestly, this nigga he already got the, the card stacked against him when it comes to, to the community. Not just cards, but like he's a. Uh, community already on his ass and that's just a one piece community they just have their own little agendas and shit but i ain't gonna lie you looking shit i kind of agree with them <laughs> more and more now fujitora what do you think you're doing i'm calling a meteor strike don't be an idiot that's a terrible idea yeah there are two admirals here if we were anywhere but the home of the gods that'd be more than enough power to turn it any battles feel upside down yeah even if you ignore the handicap, the revolutionary captains are doing well to stand their ground. This goes to show there are no pushovers. Oh, we're seeing the rest of the CP0. Well, are they in CP0 now? Niggas that was in CP9? I don't know. Are they? Because everybody else. I can't remember all their names, but like Khalifa, uh, Blue No. Whatever, Chapapa, other dude like Yuroi or whatever, and uh, the wolf guy or whatever, right? You're as bad as him. Watch where you're swinging. Okay, I already read that. I'm tripping. Yeah, <laughs> I think I did read that shit out of order. Sabo, don't you have the keys to the to these collars yet? I just found out where they where they keep them. It won't be long. Lindbergh, what's up? Kumasan's in P Pangea Castle too. What? I just spotted him with that dumb father and son saint duo, uh, Rosward and, Car and Charlos. They must still be looking to get revenge for that thing we heard about at the public courtyard. What the hell? My fufu. I'll make her my pet. He hasn't given up on getting shit or hoshi oh, here. I won't forgive him for using Kumasan like this. Yeah, we won't let them get away with it. Morley, make sure everything is ready. Okie dokie. Then you see, uh, uh, Bonnie looking for her dad, her pops, Kuma. 
Get you buzz off. I'd rather have Vice Admiral Garp's help. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Like you protect Shira Ho like like you protected Shira Hoshi. Oh wait, you didn't. And that creep's definitely going to target her again. I'm afraid only King Cobra has been per permitted and um an audience with the five elders. But Chaka Phil. This won't take long and it would be tedious. It'll be tedious for you to wait outside. It'd be much better for uh, use of your time to look out for Vivi. She's always been a mischievous one who can't let her sight her out of your sight. You can't let her out of your sight for a second. What's the purpose of this meeting? Interesting. Huh. Okay. The Cobra's dead. But it's interesting. So he, he went to go have a meeting with the five elders. Interesting. Okay, that got me a little intrigued now. That's okay. Huh. All right. This chapter was, I mean, obviously very informative, and we're finally getting to see what exactly happened back at the Reverie. Um, we've seen the Revolutionary Army going crazy. Uh, Fujitora, Greenbow couldn't really go all out because they're on the, you know, yeah, I mean, like, they can't do that there. At the Holy Land, they can't really go all out there and fuck up shit. So I remember they, I think Fujishora mentioned it before that he couldn't, but like, you know, now that you see it, you're like, oh yeah, he right. But of course, people in the One Piece community, like I said, they grab their little agendas and start talking shit like, oh, doo -doo -doo. I'm like, sure, I think Green Bull, like he could have done better in that situation because morally, like, you know, like he could at least do something, you know, without having to go all out. But still, I, I mean, the characters themselves literally said that they couldn't have done anything really and they kind of couldn't that's just their situation they couldn't go all out so i'll take their word for it i don't think it's an excuse i don't think fujitora would have an excuse at that point you know unless he was purposely just playing around like yeah i'm gonna let them do this shit, but he's not but yeah let me go back to this panel right here what is dragon talking about with the god's knights our battle will really start when they mobilize the god's knights and I see like, how many silhouettes is this? I see three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I see like nine silhouettes, maybe 10. I don't, I can't tell what's behind that speech bubble a little bit. Um, interesting. Okay. God's nice, huh? I probably don't put that in the title. It has a, like that's something that's really intriguing. But yeah, Sabo told him everything about that. And eventually we're going to learn now what happened with this meeting with king cobra and then eventually we're probably going to be talking about um emu right i believe so or the whole throne thing kasabo he's seen he was he was seen, he saw some shit right i'm trying to remember exactly how it went down but yeah that's been the thing for a minute it's just been a it's just been a while since we've seen them so i'm kind of forgetting the information that he did get in a way so but yeah okay like i said it's early in the morning, so I was trying to, you know, I was stuttering a lot while I was reading, but hey, we here nonetheless. <laughs> but, I mean, this chapter is cool. I don't really got nothing else to say much other than I'm very intrigued to see what's going on with this meeting that uh, Cobra has with the five elders, what he's going to be talking about. So, that's interesting. Um, but yeah, man, like I said, at the end of every video, I hope you guys all have a good one. Please stay safe, stay healthy, stay clean. See you guys on the next video, and peace.